Well, hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. They call me Mitchell and this is your energy forecast and intuitive message for today, Tuesday, November the 22nd, 2016. And as always, thank you so very much. So it's a 22 day. 22 is a master number. So it's about being able to, you know, plan and execute large projects. Um, it's where you want to You've got the powerful skills of manifestation. It's the humanitarian kind of feeling. So look for that energy in and around you today. And your message today is this. And it's also 11 months, so 11 and 22, but it's a nine year. So and all the numbers add up to six, which is a different thing. We'll go there in just a moment. So here's your message. How often are we, or you, looking and creating, looking for and creating a distraction to avoid feeling and experiencing our real emotions. You know, and I find myself, personally, I find myself like, you know, reaching for and looking at Facebook and stuff. Um, you know, sometimes I'm driving and I can't just leave it silent. I have to put some radio on or something to, um, you know, just to, I don't know, just to make me not feel so alone or, or not to deal with the emotions at hand. So this morning, and I tell you, something's in my eye. This eye right here, sending healing, cleaning. So if you're someone with something in your eye, I'm sorry. But so this morning in my meditation, and something that meditation does do for you, it kind of forces you to pause because there's really nowhere to distract yourself at that point. You can start thinking of other things, but it forces you to pause. And, you know, and I just invited these feelings of, you know, kind of feeling this little bit of anger, tinge of anger. Or actually, I think it's sadness coming out as anger or maybe it's anger it's showing a little bit of sadness as well. But uh, just, you know, realizing, you know, this is not necessarily always my stuff. And maybe it's just what's going on in and around me in and around the world. Coming up on the holidays, sometimes we feel this. Um, we're not quite at a full moon or a new moon, so I don't know what else is going on in the astrological world. But just invite those feelings in, you know, and just kind of say, what are you here for? What do you need to tell me? You know, is it my stuff? Okay, let me deal with it. If it's not, I release it. And then just move on from there. And my hair is really tall today, but I'm getting a haircut, so tomorrow will be short. So let me dive into some cards and numbers for today and tomorrow. Today, all the numbers add up to six, and that is very balancing, nurturing. It's kind of this work, domestic feel, family focus, responsibility, and duty. And Lenormand, to go along with that, is going to be 20, which is the garden card, which is often about a get-together, a gathering, um, a you know, party of some sort. And right now, we're, we've got a lot of that coming up. It's society, a public event. Um, you know, with the family holidays and, and then Christmas and from here on out to the end of the world, to the end of the world, to the end of the year, just a lot of these kind of gatherings are going to pop up. We'll probably see the garden card a bunch between now and the end of the year. Tear to go along with that is the Two of Cups. So this may be a place where you're, you know, getting together with a spouse or meeting a spouse or it's a group of partners and spouses and people getting together or it's a wedding because, you know, this is often like those two in front. And as for today, an odd day, a 22 day, 11 22, you know, middle of the week, a Tuesday. Um, but uh, so, so yeah, look for that, that connection. And this could be a time where you meet and make a friendship and a partnership and create a business of some sort at a public event. So look for that in and around today. Tomorrow, all the numbers add up to seven. And seven carries with it the energy of like, it's metaphysical, it's mystical, it's spiritual, it's research, it's solitude. It's very analytical in its, in its energy. Um, very lucky number as well. And then the norm to go along with that is 16, which adds up to seven, which is the star card. And the star can often be about your guidance. Think of like astrology, guiding you, leading you. Some other key words, um, success, hope, you know, vision. Um, you know, that I love hope because it's like, you know, wishing upon that star. And tarot to go along with it is Ace of Swords. I like this a lot. It's like your guidance, your vision, new start, new idea coming into existence today. One of very metaphysical, mystical, you know, science-based kind of an idea. So that goes along with the energy of seven with this Ace of Swords, which is often a new thought, a new idea, a start of some sort, usually logical one, intellectual one, one of the mind versus either body art, material, or emotional things, which are the other suits. So there's your message for today and tomorrow. So the full spread for 2017 is available for you. If you get it before December 1st, I will add in December so you get 13 months rather than, than, rather than just the 12. I pull one card for the month of what the month's going to look like for you specifically, not a general one, but for you specifically, and then a second card about how you can best navigate or, or guidance for that month. 
and that's on my website, intuitivemitchell.com. Also, Break Out of a Rut Spread was a special for this month, so it's still up there. And working on my website, mitchellosbornehypnotherapy.com. It's still rough, but uh, if you want to go check it out, you can. i got to still tweak it a whole lot, and then I will be putting it up, getting ready to see clients come January 9th, <laughs> and I will be able to do some Skype and FaceTime clients. Um, so I'm excited to do that for those who can't be here in person with me. So namaste. Have an amazing day. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.